Hey, so what's going on guys, it's your boy Candy Gear, and today I am bringing you guys my Borderlands 2 Legendary Gun Guide, Episode 3. Today we have the B Shield. Now the B is one of the most preferred shields in the game because it adds so much damage. I'm going to talk about that during like the gameplay I show you guys, but pretty much the shield, it's a, the shield itself is not that good, but it adds this much damage on the first shot when the shield is full. I'm going to explain that more in depth during the gameplay, but yeah, this is pretty much the B Shield, so... What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to any fast travel station you can find, and then go to Arid, Arid Nexus Boneyard. Now there's a side mission you have to have done, which I did not know, but basically up there is where the guy's at. There's like some, it's like a radio station thing. You have to collect all three tapes. I'll show you them, and then you turn them into Mordecai and Sanctuary. I honestly never heard of that side mission, but it is a side mission. And you have to do it or he will not respawn after you kill him the first time. You have to do it and turn it in and then he'll respawn. And this one is pretty much the same as my last episode on the Hornet. Where you just save and quit after you kill him. And then when you load it back up you spawn right back here. Right over there where I spawned. And it's like, that's going to change for some of them. But here's the guy you killed. So you just killed this guy. <laughs> This tape, this tape, this tape, this tape, this tape, and turn it into more kind of sexual. And he calls it a bunch of robots, by the way. Shit, I forgot to change my audio. But he calls in a bunch of robots, so you gotta watch out for that, too. Hopefully, the audio is fine in this. But yeah, so that's pretty much how you get the B shield. I'm gonna show you guys my live reaction of me getting it now, and then I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay, and I'll be back with the gameplay. Like, I'll talk. I'm gonna be talking over the gameplay about the B shield and explaining to you guys what it is. So yeah, I'll be back. Yes, I got the B, let's go! Shit, I actually got it. Damn. Can't believe I actually got it. It's not a very good one, but I still got it. Damn, that's actually pretty shit. The recharge delay is 7.42. Oh well, I'll take it. Let's test this out. Alright, so we're back here with the gameplay, and um, pretty much the way this shield works is when your shield is full, like, there's no damage to your shield at all, it does that, ac that extra amp damage. Like, as you see, the extra amp damage on this shield that I have was 35,528. So when the shield is full and I shoot a bullet, it does the normal damage plus that extra 35,000 damage. And when when it does that extra damage, you'll hear this noise right here. Now, I don't know if that's just the specific noise that the Maggie makes, but I've realized that every time that I get the bonus damage from the shield, that it makes that noise. Like I said, it might make a different noise for different guns, I'm not sure. But I've seen sometimes where it makes that noise, and I don't really see a difference in the damage. And I'm in the last episode where I showed you guys how to get the Hornet, when I was fighting the boss, you heard that noise a lot, and you saw that I was getting that extra damage because I was destroying him. Like, you would see, you could see, like, when I was killing him the second time to show you guys, when I had the B-Shield, that I, w I killed him a lot faster than when I killed him the first time to show you guys my live reaction. And the gameplay's a bit messed up, I don't know why, but, um, I apologize for that. So yeah, the B-Shield is really good, but only use it to fight bosses. Don't use it against normal people like this right here. I just did it against this to test, to like show you guys. But 
only used against bosses like Saturn, the big robot, or Captain Flint, or like the boss from the last episode, or like the boss from the first episode, I forget who it was, Zafford. Don't use it against Zafford actually, because there's a lot of people constantly shooting at you, so you need a big shield. So only use it against bosses where there's not a lot of people shooting you at once, like Saturn, like that boss Bully Mong in the last episode. Like the warrior, like stuff like that. So don't use it against like actual people. And I'm uh so I'm just pretty much gonna put like the gameplay from the last episode on the screen right now. So you guys will see how much damage it was doing. Because it, it just destroyed him. If you want to go back to the last episode and compare the two, you can. But I'm just going to show you the gameplay where you can hear the sound and you can just see me destroying him. You can actually see the extra damage. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get the B. If you did, make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's me, Boy Kenda. Next episode, I'm probably going to do an Osari for an SMG, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is me, Boy Kenda, and I'm out. Peace. Up here, I have the beef here now, by the way, so this is gonna be a lot easier. It's already really easy. Whoa, what the hell just happened? I don't know what just happened.